guys, it's Don with DiverDonScuba.com. Today I want to go over basic scuba equipment assembly. I want to show you how to properly assemble your scuba gear. And if you haven't been in the water in a while, maybe you're a little bit rusty or you're new to the sport, stay tuned, check out my video. I'm sure it'll be worth your while. You always want to make sure you get your air from a reputable source, but just the same, I like to smell my tanks before I, um, before I use them. And I'll do so by turning the valve on slightly, cupping my hand in front of the uh, valve, and then just smelling for any impurities. You want to inspect the O-ring. Make sure it's in good shape, it's intact, not torn. Then you want to look for the hydrostatic date. This one was tested on November of 2016. These need to be tested every five years. Now we're going to apply the BCD. You want to wet the band so it doesn't slip. Sometimes they slip when they get wet. So it's best to pre-moisten it. Now you notice how I have the valve situated towards the back of the BCD. Something to remember is air to the hair. So you want to make sure the top of the BCD is roughly even with the top of the valve. You want to cam this shut and you want to hear that click. Did you hear that click? If you need to tighten the buckle, just feed this last little bit of webbing out and you'll see this move as I pull on it. Okay, right there it's loose, right here it's tight. Start that camming action. By doing that, it locks it in place, and then you can just feed the webbing back through, give it a tug, and then that's it. Good and tight. Now we're going to install the regulator. We do that by aligning both second stages to the right, any other gauges or hoses to the left, and then you'll see you'll have your first stage right in front of you. You loosen the yoke knob, removing the cap, and inspect the filter, which goes right here. Let me show you a little closer up here. There's the dust cap. You loosen it up, loosen up the yoke, take the dust cover out of the way, inspect the filter, Put it where the air comes out of the valve. Finger tighten only, guys. That's it. Okay, now locate your low-pressure inflator hose. You want to connect it to the low-pressure inflator valve. And you do so simply by pulling the collar back, and fixing it, and giving it a little tug to make sure that it is, in fact, secured. Secure any clips or Velcro. Now it's time to turn the system on. A lot of instructors tell you to hold the gauge away from you, point it away from you, and that's because older gauges sometimes did not come with pressure relief valves, like this one has. If anything were to rupture, it would be this valve, so it's safe for me to look at the face while I turn it on. Okay, and I turn it all the way on, verifying that I have a full cylinder. This one's just shy of 3,000. And so now I'm ready to test the regulators. I test both second stages. This one's working fine. Now I need to check the BCD. I do so by inflating the BCD and deflating it and checking each of these dump valves. Okay, that one worked. There's another one at the waist. On this one, it's right here. And there's yet one more dump valve built into this corrugated hose at the shoulder. And how you activate that, there's a, there's a cable in here that you just pull on this and it evacuates the air through the shoulder. 
Okay, we tested the regulators, we tested the inflator, all the dump valves, everything works. You secured your octopus. You have a keeper to keep your gauges from dragging on the reef and destroying coral life. Everything looks good. Hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.